Today I'll show you how to replace this photo eye sensor that shuts this light off when it's daylight. It's a $15 kit. It's an easy fix. As long as you take a couple steps like shutting off the electricity, you should be able to do it yourself. You won't have to call an electrician and you'll save lots of money. Interested? Here we go. It's broad daylight. My lamppost is the only one on in the neighborhood. So I know that my photo eye sensor here is bad. I replaced it about 10 years ago. They last anywhere from five to 10 years. It's a pretty easy fix. Now that the power is off, I need to take out three flathead screws and I have a little magnetic thing that's not gonna work on here to collect the screws in. Because I don't want them to fall down into my landscaping. I'll never see them again. Okay, so as I open this up, there's a couple things I've noticed. It's a little wet inside. Here's the electronics. I've also noticed that this is all loose in here, so I'm gonna tighten that up. And then what do I do with this thing? A couple of options here. This is a great find from Harbor Freight. It's just a giant carabiner clip for carrying things, and I'm gonna probably use that. But if you didn't have that, you could just easily take a coat hanger, which most people have, twist it around, and then just take it off. Make sure you got enough slack, and then hang it down in here. And double it up, and that will work fine. Since I have the carabiner, I'm just going to use that. There we go. It kind of keeps everything together, and I won't worry about breaking this. In order to take the complete slack off of this and make sure there's plenty of room to work, I just took the carabiner and hooked it on there like that. A smaller carabiner would probably work, but this one's the one I have, and, it, and you can see it's all loose, and I have to fix that before I even get into the photo eye. This is an absolute mess. It's wet. I'm going to have to go in here and clean this all up. You can see water dripping out of the connection. That's not good. All sorts of craziness going on here. So I'm going to have to take this off, clean it up, come back, and then do the optic sensor. What a mess. <laughs> it's about 15 years old, so I guess it's to be expected, but the nut has broken off. All right, this retainer ring comes off pretty easy. You might have to use a wrench just to start it up. You can see, here's the replacement. It's a little different. It's the same notional size, smaller. So on this replacement, I noticed that the wires go down like this. I was initially going to bend them up, but I think I'm just going to keep them like that. And then red goes to black, white goes to white, and black goes to this black. It's pretty simple. As I take one off, I'm going to replace it with its counterpart on the new unit. So I've already taken white off because I had to take the post down. I'll put this together, this together. And then I'm going to put a yellow on there. They come with small orange ones. But I'm going to use a slightly bigger one. You can see when I did it last time, I actually put some black tape on there. That ended up being really good because this connection is actually wet. Twist them around. So now I have the black wire and I'll put it with the red wire right here. And again, since I have two, I'm going to use the orange one that's smaller. All right, all my connections are connected. I've made sure that they're all real tight. Now I do have this grounding strap that I have to somehow contend with. All right, all the connectors have been taped to electrical tape. Some people would, might think this is excessive. I think it's the best practice, and especially the fact that when I opened it up, I saw water in there. So now you're going to take and slide it down into this hole right here. Pretty easy. Do that first before you shove any of these other lines in there. Okay, after a bit of persuasion, you finally get it out there. You want to make sure it's completely straight and then just tighten it up. Now you can take your carabiner off, figure out where your post holes are, put all this inside, make sure everything's straight, and then just remount your post. Holes are all lined up. So now I'm going to turn the power back on and see if it turns off. There it goes, it works. Alright, we checked the sensor to think it's dark outside by just putting the cover over it. Now let's see if it comes off. <laughs> it worked! Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. This was a pretty easy thing to do. And it's pretty satisfying once you have to rebuild the entire light and get that sensor to work. Stay tuned for more builds and fixes coming soon.